What I want to do now is I'm going to Alt, click on the mask so I can see what it looks like. Look at this hair, it looks awesome. This over here looks awesome. Remember the top of the car where it didn't look so great? I'm gonna show you what we can do to fix some of that. Now when I zoom in and out on my tablet, you see these little dots on my screen where my fingers are? Just so you don't get confused, that's what that is. Now I can make adjustments with tools on my layer mask without affecting my actual layer. So with it selected and visible, if I went to my dodge tool and I wanted to brighten these areas that are white, but they're not white enough, because remember, I don't want a gradient there. I want it to be a pretty clear and smooth line. I can use my dodge tool to lighten these areas without having to do too much work. It's gonna give me a pretty great result. Kind of overshooting it in some spots, but that's okay because I can paint those back out again. This technique will come in handy so much when you get into more complex layer masks. Okay, so I'm going to go in here, bring my size down, and I'm going to target my highlights because I want to bring these areas up. And look how clear of a border we're getting now. I just want to simply paint this area with white because on my main layer, it wouldn't make sense if that wasn't showing through. And because it's black, the dodge tool isn't going to do much to help with that. So make sure I have white here. I'll just, oops, <laughs> bring down my brush size. I'll just paint this back in with white. I could paint over my layer with white where I'm going over it with the dodge tool. I could just paint it with white, but doing that freehand might allow me to make some mistakes that I just don't want to have to deal with because I know that I don't have the steadiest hand. I'm going to paint out some of these areas where I added too much with the dodge tool. In these areas where I use the dodge tool, I've added too much onto these dark pixels. Remember, I want a clear border. So I'll go back to my dodge tool now. Just right over these areas, make it completely white. And then I'll paint with black over these areas. They're kind of difficult to see to just get rid of those completely. And this is one of the main reasons any composite photographer will tell you to get a graphics tablet because this would be so much more difficult with the mouse and we want to be able to be as specific as we need to be. All right, now take a look at that border. It looks so much better than before. And if we go to our image, we can see now we just have a clear and smooth border at the top of our car. Now, Let's take a look at this hair. I'm gonna use the dodge and burn tools in here. It would be too difficult for me to manually try to paint areas of hair. But if I click Alt and use the dodge and burn tools in here, I'll be able to make these areas so they don't look transparent. So let's go to the dodge tool again. We'll bring the exposure down to like 30. And then I'll just paint over. Hopefully it won't be too strong, it won't overwhelm anything, but we can still go over a little bit. Just brighten these up. I can even go just directly over areas of black and white because the black won't change when I'm using my dodge tool, especially if I'm targeting the highlights. Let's go through here, bring back in some of this. Great. 
I'm gonna dodge her arm. Because remember, we had a pretty noticeable gradient on the edge of her arm. This area looks great. Okay, great. So these areas where I'm seeing pixels that I don't want to see on the outside of um, my visible layer, I'm gonna go to the burn tool and this will just darken my pixels. So I can do that and just clean this up real easily. Okay, and I'll do this around her arm. And I'll just go through the outside of my image again with the burn tool and clean it up. Now remember the burn tool darkens pixels. So as I go over these areas, the pixels just kind of on the outside of the white kind of the overflow areas, will just disappear. Like that, and now I can get into her hair. Some of these areas were just a little too much, so I'll just do some brush strokes here. I'll go back to dodge, clean up this area of her arm. Okay, so I'm just double checking to make sure everything's pretty clear. Great. Now, when I, on my tablet, because it's a touch screen, I can rotate my image. You can do this by selecting R, and it's a rotate tool. It doesn't rotate anything in your composition at all, just how you see it. And if ever you do rotate it and you want to reset it, just click reset. Okay, so let's see how this looks. This is great. I'm super happy with how this has turned out.